बुक कीपिंग एंड अकाउंटिंग अकाउंटिंग पर्पस बुक कीपिंग एंड अकाउंटिंग आर वेरी ओल्ड प्रैक्टिस फॉलोड वेर एवर दर वॉज यूसेज ऑफ मनी इन एनिशियन सोसाइटीज दिस प्रैक्टिस इज एज ओल्ड एज मनी इट सेल्फ इन ऑल्डन डेज हु यूज टू मैनेज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ वेल्थी पीपल वर स्टिवर्ड्स हु यूज टू प्रिपेयर स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ देयर प्रॉपर्टीज एट रेगुलर इंटरवल्स ऑफ टाइम द फेमस इटालियन मॉन्क लूका पैसियोली प्रपाउंडेड मॉडर्न अकाउंटिंग इन हिज बुक सुमा The Italian methods were later assumed in good time during the 20th century by Europeans at large. However, in India, accountancy began by an introduction from Kautilya in his book Artha Shastra. This happened in 4th century BC. Accountancy is referred to as the art of recording business transactions in the form of books so that effective analysis of those accounts can be carried out. once the accounting data is recorded in the book incomes and expenses are recorded as and when it becomes due in the mercantile system of accounting however in cash method excess of receipts over expenditure is recorded in the book of accounts there are fundamentally three different types of accounting namely financial accounting human resource accounting and inflation accounting In financial accounting assets are recorded at historic cost or market price whichever is lower In human resource accounting accounting considers the importance of training loyalty and knowledge of employees working for a company In inflation accounting price level mostly prevalent in market is seen to adjust the values of types of assets and profits and this happens normally in the wake of changes in price levels accounting concepts principles and conventions accounting being a language that is used by the business people a lot needs to be understood when they use this accounting language and hence it needs to be based on certain uniform scientifically laid down standards chiefly gap or generally accepted accounting principles in other words gap contains certain rules and conventions followed in depicting basic accounting concepts in the business world in general accounting principles are general laws or rules which are followed in the preparation of the financial statements On the account of use of accounting concepts it may be classified as concepts used while at the recording stage as opposed to concepts used while at the reporting stage of affairs in the accounting world The main accounting concepts used at recording stages are 1 business entity concept 2 money measurement concept 3 historical record concept 4 objective evidence 5 cost concept 6 dual aspect and 7 revenue recognition at reporting stage the following are the important concepts namely 1 going concern 2 accounting period 3 matching 4 consistency concept 5 conservatism concept 6 full disclosure and 7 materiality concept according to business entity concept a proprietor is treated as a creditor in relation to his capital account or whenever he withdraws money for his personal expenses and as such that money is debited to his drawing account and is not shown as an expense suppose the proprietor of a firm is taken ill a fact which needs to be recorded in terms of money is according to money measurement concept will not record it on the other hand what gets recorded may be the change in value of a building if they plan to erect a dispensary in the main building where the business is located according to cost concept every transaction is recorded in the book of accounts at cost price For instance if an asset is acquired by a firm the fact that a subsequent amount is spent in acquiring the asset becomes its cost 
and that will be recorded at original cost and becomes the basis of all asset accounting activities. However, this does not mean always assets are recorded at cost price. By passage of time, there may be wear and tear happening to the assets and hence, we apply a depreciation or a gradual reduction of value to the original cost, which over a period of time will be going towards a cipher, a zero, depending upon whether there is at least a worth in the remaining economic life of the asset. When it is fully depreciated or when the economic life of the asset is finally realized, the asset will be sold as scrap. The system of recording dual concept or any basis hence of is called double entry system. Closing stock should be valued at cost price or realizable value. Whichever is less is according to realization concept. If something is provided for prepaid expenses or unpaid expenses, it is according to accrual basis of accounting. Defining likewise, expenses are always recorded, whereas income due is recorded only when it most certainly is receivable and is surely based on the accrual basis of accounting. According to going concern concept, the business seems to have indefinite life until and unless the business goes into a liquidation state. Accounting period is normally a financial year where the statement of affairs is recorded in frequent intervals of time. The expenses should be included in an accounting period alongside revenues which were received and included in the same accounting period is the matching concept of accounting. Conservatism principle is applied whenever a joint life policy is shown at surrender value as opposed to the premium value. Conservatism also labels any provisions for doubtful debts in anticipation of bad debts. In other words, the essence of conservatism is to anticipate no profits and to provide for all losses. Convention of Disclosure encourages writing notes regarding contingent liability in accounting statements. Disclosure also encourages showing a footnote for the market value of investments. Accounting Standards Professional accounting bodies prescribe statements that are called accounting standards. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of India issues accounting standards in India. Some of the accounting standards are AS-2 or Accounting Standard 2 for inventory valuation and AS-4 deals with contingencies and events occurring in balance sheets. Double entry bookkeeping. At any point in time, the total assets are always equal to total claim, which would mean liabilities plus as, uh, capital is equal to assets. This equation is called as balance sheet equation. If capital is rupees 10,000 and asset is rupees 20,000, then liability is rupees 10,000. In double entry, the entry is balanced with a corresponding entry, which is called a contra entry. Accounts are normally personal, real or nominal. Some of the examples of personal account are capital, since it relates to the proprietor, bank for being an institution, customer or debtor, wages paid to laborers, Insurance premium is paid in advance to insurance company, is an institution and hence the asset is in personal account form, drawing account of the proprietor, etc. Some of the examples of real accounts are land and building, cash, which is an asset and stock in hand. Some of the examples of nominal account are rent, rent paid is expense. Rent received is income, sale which is a revenue, interest, interest received is income and interest paid is expense and charity is an expense item. In addition to these facts, there are accounting rules that exist for personal, real and nominal accounts. For personal accounts, debit the receiver, credit the giver. 
For nominal accounts, the fundamental rule is to debit all expenses and credit income and gains. For real accounts, debit what may come in and credit what goes out. Journal and ledger. The points of distinction between a journal and ledger is that 1. Transactions are recorded first in the journal and then posted to ledger. 2. The process of recording transaction in journal, in other words, is journalizing while process of recording transaction in ledger is posting. Journal contains chronological record whereas ledger contains analytical record. Cash book records all cash receipts and cash payments. Cash book is a book of original entry because all cash transactions get recorded in cash book. Afterwards, it gets recorded from cash book to the various ledger accounts. It's also a book of final entry for cash transactions because after recording transactions in a cash book, cash account is not normally required. Subsidiary books. Subsidiary books are one of purchase book, sales book, sales return book or return inward book and purchases return book or return outward book. Purchase book is an example of special journal where sales book is part of a journal. Invoice journal is used for recording credit purchases. In the purchase book, the record kept is credit purchase of goods which are dealt in. For sales book, the sale of asset used in business on credit is recorded in general ledger. The total of sales book is also posted to the credit of the sales account. Additionally, there also exists the concept of customer and supplier in a manufacturing unit. Raw materials are bought, purchased from the supplier of raw materials and finished goods or services are sold, that is sales to customers. Hence the sales returns book records return of anything sold, whereas purchase return book is used for recording of goods returned to suppliers. Return of goods purchased against cash. In a mercantile firm, a firm where only purchases and sales takes place, returns outward account represents good return to suppliers, where returns inward account will show any goods that have been returned by customers.